States. We now have a GMA exclusive with the Nebraska teacher caught in a sex scandal with her 13-year-old student. She fled the country with him last year and was just sentenced to six years in federal prison. This morning, that teacher, Kelsey Peterson, is speaking out, talking about why to ABC's Jan Crawford Greenberg, who's with us here. It's good to have you up here, Jan. Thanks, Diane. We spent about two and a half hours with Kelsey Peterson in a small interview room in the county jail near Omaha, Nebraska. It was the first time that she's talked publicly about this, and she had a lot to say, beginning with her regrets. If I could go back and be that person that I was supposed to be, I would do it in a second. And what person were you supposed to be? Oh, that teacher that got married and had a family and, you know, the little middle class, normal, white picket, everyday, small town American girl. I grew up in this really Christian, we don't do things wrong kind of family. And that's all I wanted. And, and yet I made choice after choice after choice that didn't allow that. Those choices began when 25-year-old Kelsey Peterson started a sexual relationship with Fernando Rodriguez, a 12-year-old student with a crush. I remember him specifically asking me one day in the middle of class uh, uh, if I'd marry him. A single mom, Kelsey and her little girl were living with her parents. Kelsey was teaching middle school math in the small town of Lexington, Nebraska. Only 10 years before she was a student there herself, she quickly became a popular teacher. I had a lot of kids that knew they could trust me and, and held a lot of confidence in me. In Fernando, Kelsey saw a sixth grader with promise, but troubling signs he was running with a gang. Something drew me to him, you know, and I think more than anything, I think it was, I can change this guy. Kelsey's lawyer says Fernando wanted more. He tried to kiss her, he would grab her, he would do these things. Uh, she, didn't, uh, she didn't initiate this, this, this relationship. That young man did. Fernando began calling Kelsey on her cell phone. After she moved to Lexington, he started showing up at her house. I remember the first day he kissed me. I was shocked. I can remember thinking, whoa, like, this isn't, no. How old did you think he was? It would have been 13. That's just it. It got to the point in my life where, I, or in our relationship, we didn't see age anymore. But, you know, he was still, I mean, at least in the eyes of the law, a boy. Mm -hmm. He wasn't, in my mind, he quit being a teenage boy. He was 5'8", five, five, 170 pounds, and he had my name tattooed across his chest, and to me, he's, he was a man. But he was in seventh grade. Kelsey's five-year-old daughter stayed at her parents during the week, and Fernando began sleeping at her house. It's not like I chase little boys or like, like younger men or anything like that. It had nothing to do with that. It was him in general. I loved him, or I thought I loved him, and I thought I needed him, and he was that drug to me, and it spiraled my life so far out of control, I, I couldn't find a way out anymore. They took chances going out in public, and people started to talk. My principal came in and uh, asked for my laptop computer. Court records show that on that laptop were love letters between Kelsey and Fernando. School officials banned her from the classroom. What were you thinking then? How am I going to get out of this? How am I, what am I going to do? Kelsey and Fernando decided to run. And then he says to me, we'll be back by Christmas. We'll leave and it'll just all go away. And we're leaving and I am just bawling. I'm driving down the interstate and I, I'm crying the whole way. And I can remember him looking at me one time and he said, are you going to cry the whole effing way? And I, I remember looking at him and saying, well, I might. Do you realize what I've just left? Fernando, who was an illegal immigrant, had family in Mexico. That's where they headed, but the FBI was on their trail. The run from the law for math teacher Kelsey Peterson and her 13-year-old student ended here in Mexicali, Mexico on Friday night. It was the last time Kelsey saw Fernando. She's been in jail in the U.S. ever since. When she gets out of prison, Fernando will be an adult. If he tries to reach you, are you going to see him? I think that's probably my biggest fear right now. I pray that doesn't happen because, granted, there's no closure here. One door that has closed, sharing her daughter's childhood. My little girl said, I haven't touched my mom for almost a year. And when you think about that, like, she was my life. When Kelsey is released from prison, her daughter will be a teenager. That little girl, I owe her more apology than I can ever give. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry to so many people. I hurt people. And the ripple effect is huge. 
and I'm so sorry for that. And there's so many sorries I can't even, I won't even be able to tell them all. Now Kelsey will never teach again. She'll be a registered sex offender, but she has some advice for other young women teachers. Don't try to be friends with your students. The boys, she says, will confuse your interest, your concern for sexual interest. And she was mm. 24 when this started. That's right. Thank you so much.